Nothing better than a little chalk talk in the new year and playoff chalk talk at that little football 101. And this was the touchdown pass, the final touchdown in the red zone for the Seahawks. Put the nail in the coffin against Detroit. Up 19-6, to six, fourth quarter. This is also the play that Doug stole uh, from Jermaine uh, that he felt very bad about. Don't laugh about it. He felt bad because Jermaine did a phenomenal job on this play, as did Doug. And, uh, well, they were both rewarded, kind of. Doug on the stat sheet, Jermaine in that film room of getting the job done. But well before then, we know that with these plays that are successful and unfortunately the plays that go the other way too. Many times it's scheme, it's execution, it's players, formations, and plays. And uh, why the Seahawks ended up running away from Detroit and why they'll make a run and why they will make a run if they do make a run is their red zone touchdown productivity. Not an area of great strength this season, and when they've lost games, their inability to score touchdowns in the red zone has caught up to them. They're going to have to do so in Atlanta this weekend, and they did against Detroit, scoring three touchdowns and four trips, and this was the finale. Players, formations, plays. Get our players into some space, especially number 89 in these situations. How can I get Doug involved? What kind of little rub routes can I run or pick plays? What kind of situations can I get him in one-on-one -on -one matchups? Formationally, how can I protect myself? How can I get some indicators from that defense of what they're planning to do? And ultimately, how do I execute the play? So in this case, the Seahawks come up and they're going to have a seven-man protection. And I think that helps Russell Wilson. That he's going to get up in this front. Detroit's a four-down front. They're not terribly exotic in their blitz packages. And once Detroit goes corner over, that should be your first tell. If they go corner over and they're in a press kind of alignment, that should tell you as a fan, oh man, I got man-to-man -man coverage because it tells Russell Wilson that. Corner over, safety stays, man-to-man -man coverage. Boom. Russell's thinking, love it. Love it an awful lot. I got seven-man protection. So I don't care that Detroit's trying to show me pressure and they got the safeties and the safety over the top and maybe they're going to run a little blitz because they got the safety to cover the tight end, the other safety to cover the back. Russell doesn't care. I got seven men staying in with Luke Wilson and Alex Collins to, pr to uh, protect whatever they're going to do in their front. And Russell knows he's got man-to-man -man coverage. And in fact, Detroit was trying to kind of screw around with their look and trying to present one of those little blitz looks. And in doing so, that free safety never gets to the middle of the field. He never gets to his landmark, which once again is a home run as Russell Wilson is watching this play develop. And then ultimately, the play. And all it is is three verticals. And uh, we used to call this dancer, or you could call it all go, but it's from a bunch alignment. And Paul Richardson's going to run his corner right out of the play. And then this is where some of the thievery takes place because Doug Baldwin has such a phenomenal release, way inside technique by the corner. And Doug's job is on this play to try to get over to the safety and get in front and cross his face and give Jermaine really ample opportunity. And Paul Richardson, too, if he beats his man Clayton, has got space to the back pylon. But Doug beats this corner on inside leverage so badly, and Jermaine beats the nickel back in an inside release so badly that these two unfortunately find themselves well, on the same piece of real estate. And because Detroit doesn't cover, doesn't get to their landmark, because Doug beat his guy so clean outside, Jermaine beat his guy so clean inside. I mean, this is as good a release as I've seen from Jermaine Curse. That's the other reason he's bummed. And that's why when they watch tape Sunday, I promised Doug apologize after the game and said, man, Jermaine, you couldn't have beat that guy any worse. He beat this guy as bad as Doug while he's beating guys down in the end zone on fade route touchdowns. Jermaine beats him as two yards of separation. He's in the clear. Uh, Russell's got his pick. I think he's throwing to Jermaine. Uh, Doug just happens to be in the way and get a touchdown. Players, formations, plays, scoring touchdowns in the red zone. Be careful when you're trying to blitz or show blitzes defensively and you don't get to your landmark. And then ultimately, playmakers doing their thing when it matters the most. Seahawks had a gun, got it done against Detroit. Going to need more of the same down in Atlanta.